Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at modelling a cartridge for the original Game Boy. So we're going to go to Insert and Canvas. And then I've got a file called Reference Images, so let's find one we're after, which is this one. I'm going to click on this front image plane here. Make it a bit bigger, flip it round, and then just bring it up like that. So just looking at it quickly, it's got mostly symmetry. The only thing that's not got on both sides of this little cut, so what we'll do is we'll do a half it, mirror it over, and then we'll do this little cut later. So what we're gonna do is let's create a sketch. And to begin with, let's do half a rectangle. like that and then we're going to start to bring in some more details so let's fill it these edges a little bit like that we won't do that one yet because we're going to do that in a little bit if i've done control so i can just click multiple Enter. and then done. So then what we're going to do is let's hit E for extrude, kind of drag it up a little bit, like that. So now next what we're going to start to do is do these little cutouts. So let's create a sketch on this surface, and zoom in, and then again R for rectangle. Let's Just draw these. Well, obviously, they've got curved edges, so we're just going to do that in a second. But the first thing we're going to do is just get the overall rough shape first, and we'll use the arc tool to draw those bits out. So then, what we'll do is let's have to create arc. If you find arc, let's grab this corner here, sort of like that. Obviously, because of Graphic image quality isn't amazing, so it's a little bit pixelated, but you can still make it out just about. Like that. And then what we're going to do is let's hit T for trim, and let's just trim off these bits. I'm going to just trim off these edges here as well. And then hit finish. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to split. So those are like little indents on the actual surface. So what we're going to do, split body, <coughs> excuse me, body to split, which is this one, tools, and then we're going to grab all of these tools here. Mark, we've got one second. I've not trimmed this part, so let's just go back. Edit that sketch quickly, T for trim, there we go, that's better. Now let's do that again. So now we're going to strip body. Like that. And then if I come out, you can see what's going on. It's extended, so it's cutting all of that, so I'll do that. Now, what we want to do really is go to press pull, grab that and bring it in but it's not going to work so what we want to do first of all because they're separate bodies so the ones we don't this one we're going to hide for a second so we're going to duplicate these and then remove the extra ones so we're going to grab all of those control c control v hit enter and then two to six let's just hide those for now now if we bring those back. So now what we can do if we go to press pull, we're going to turn the canvas off so it doesn't get in the way. Should drag this in, you can see it comes in perfectly. So what we're going to do, not much, something like that. So let's do like minus 0.2. How does that look? Yes, we're like minus 0.2. Let's just try, if I don't control it, let me do, yeah, let me do all at the same time. So I'm going to, 
it's on that control so it'll let me do it multiple at the same time like that so we come out so it looks quite happy with that so hit okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to combine those so let's go to combine grab those and then we're going to grab one of those bodies so that's now all one bodies we want these ones are still here and we don't actually want those anymore but one thing you want to make sure you do as a general rule of thumb if you right click it you've got to delete and you've got to remove you don't really want to delete things sometimes it's fine but if you use something as a, a reference for a later like operation then you delete it you start messing things up so the best thing to do really is to right click and remove because it doesn't matter that won't affect it so really you should never delete shouldn't really be there really so got those so what we're going to do next is we're going to split this in half and mirror it across so if we look there obviously it's on both sides so we're going to mirror this feature across and then we'll do a little cut out there so let's turn the body back on so we want to split that right in the middle so we did draw it directly in the middle but if we're never not sure about that we can go to construct mid plane and i can grab that surface and that surface and then straight away guaranteed i've got this plane right in the middle so i can then go to split body grab that and then grab this plane hit OK. I can then turn that plane off. So I've then got half. So what I can then do is mirror. So to create mirror, grab that body, and mirror plane, I can just pick that side and hit OK. So now it's automatically got that bit for me. Obviously, what we do need to do is do that little bit of cutout up here. But we'll do a few other little details as well while we're at it. So let's create another sketch. I'm going to do crack paint to see what you see that little like uh, what would you call it like a like a slot sort of like cut out. So we're going to come across. Like that. Now what we want to do is that in a little bit like that right. okay finish sketch so that's it's like that let's just bring that down a little bit. Next what we're going to do is a little cut out for where the label goes. So let's create another sketch. Do half a rectangle. And then let's fill it those corners because they're all going to be the same. And then hold down control. Enter, sketch, E, and I'll drag that, and I want it to be the same height as that, so I'm going to drag down, or I'll bump, let's sort of bring it down a bit, and then let's click there, hit OK. So we want to fill it, because it's not meant to be that harsh of a, a transition, so let's fill it up there, or F for fill it. Let's grab those. We don't want so big, let's try like 0.1. Can't really tell that, let's try. A lot of this is sort of trial and error of trying to see what works. I accidentally grabbed an edge around here, which I don't want to do. Okay, that's Again, let's turn off the canvas and see what better. Right, let's fill it. Something like that. Okay, 
let's then do this little cut here. So, sketch. For this, let's use the line tool. Print sketch, and again, we're going to go to the split body, select the body, select the tools, like that. So, this bit we then don't want. So, then we just need to fill it these edges a little bit more. So let's go to fill it. So we can drag those in. And then last couple of things to do is let's make an actual slot where the circuit will go. So select that surface, let's offset and bring that in something like there. Need to extrude. And the only thing we want to make sure we do is we don't end up cutting through where the label is. So let's just do that and see what's happened. Have we messed that up? No, I think we're okay. oh maybe a little bit, yeah. So let's Edit that sketch, delete that, and then let's offset a little bit more like that. And then with extrude, we edit that feature and we can re grab that. So there we go, you see there's no interference in there. And then what we want to do is let's split this in half. So first of all, let's fill it with edges on both sides. text so let's turn on the canvas so let's create a sketch create and text and then height so let's bring that way down about there. I doubt we're going to find the perfect font in here. You can't add other fonts, but I didn't actually check when I probably should have done, but we'll leave that as it is. Let's um, move that into position about there. And then let's do a sketch E and then let's grab our text and bring it up. Oh, no. I've got Nintendo over there. Maybe we'll. Game one needs to be a bit bigger. So let's text again. Bigger? Ooh, too big. Into position. And obviously, you want to extrude that. So, probably hit E and I want to make it the same height. There we go. Let's turn up our canvas. So 
most of the modelling is done. The only other thing potentially we might want to do is split this in half as if it's actually like the real thing. So let's do a construct mid plane. Let's grab that surface, and that surface, and then let's go to split body again. Split that body using that tool like that. So now we've got that actually split down there. Let's make that a little bit more realistic and then what we can do as well, let's just create a sketch. Let's do offset. Hmm. Now let's do rectangle. That size and then let's offset that. There we go. Like that. And there's E. I grab that. And I drag it out to here. But I'm going to make sure I set that to new body. And then that sort of looks like the little circuit board that you'd get inside. Let's just fill it. Like that. So, modeling side done. So, we will give it a little texture in Fusion. I am planning on doing a second part of just texture in this in Substance Painter as well, but I'll do that as a separate little bit at the end of the video. So, let's. I normally got that like dark grey sort of colour, so let's have a look. Let's go plastic. We want something. We don't want anything too shiny, do we? So let's take that. Let's bring our reflective this down. Oh, sorry, now we want to do the roughness, is what we want to do. Let's bring that roughness up a bit. Let's change that to like a grey, like that sort of thing. Then let's insert decal, and then in here I should have a label that I've brought in. Let's bring that into position. Something like that. And then I was going to, but I don't know if there's any point because you're not going to see it, but we'll do it anyway. So that's where our circuit board is, but let's insert decal as well. So I do have Oh, no. Like that, and then I bring okay, you can't really see that here, but what I will do is let's change the material of this to gold so it looks like it's got like gold contacts on it. It's like that. And we are done. So let's just jump into, we'll give that a save first so we can render it. So let's do that for a rundown I'll put it as a thumbnail but hopefully you found that useful and interesting I will do a second part um that I'll take it into some space to talk about texturing it as well but hopefully you found that useful and interesting if you have any questions please leave a message a comment down below or email me at design with Simon at outlook.com now that we're in Maya I'm gonna to go to file and import and I should have my Game Boy cartridge somewhere on here so Game Boy cartridge model FBX let's bring that in I'm going to select it all and E to rotate. Hold on J just to bring it up like that. So we've got our model there. 
what I'm going to do, grab it all, let's free transformations and delete history. Bring that up, scale it down a little bit. Yeah, something like that. So, if you watch any of the videos before, where we've taken substance uh, fusion models into Maya and their substance painter, we need to unwrap them. So I'm going to select everything. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to go to EV and delete EVs. Now there are two ways to this. I mean, the proper way we to retopologize, which uh, the model, which I haven't done yet on this channel. I'm practicing around with it a little bit, but basically I want to make sure I'm properly good at it before I start trying to introduce it to you because otherwise I'm going to give you the wrong information but what we're going to do so we've got this split up into three bodies there so we're going to UV UV editor I'm going to grab this one let's go and we'll just try automatic and see how it ends up looking in fact let's grab all of it let's go to create automatic because it's all going to be one sort of like plastic sort of thing it shouldn't matter a great deal so let's go automatic there we go select it all UV shells modify and give it a layout okay and then only other thing to do is to assign material to it Do the same to the circuit on the inside. Okay, so we've now got some UVs, so I'm going to go to File and Export All. And as an FBX, and I'm going to jump over to Substance Painter and have a go at texturing it. Okay, so now that we're in Substance Painter, I'm going to go to File and New. So I'm going to select my Game Boy cartridge. Change resolution to 2K, hit OK. So that is our model. We've not a lot of materials to it, so it didn't take very long to texture. What first thing we're going to do is edit and bake mesh maps, change to 2K, and bake selected textures. So we did unwrap this in Maya, but we did auto unwrap because it didn't have good topology, which if you've never used like Maya or Blender or anything like that before, you won't really know much about what topology is. But for what we're doing, because there's nothing majorly complex to it, it shouldn't matter massively, hopefully. Um, so let's just grab got like a matte plastic. Yeah, so because we've not got any like grains or there's nothing specific there's no like weird like intricate parts it shouldn't really make a huge difference so let's make that that sort of grey I'll take like a that sort of thing no I'm not going to bother like in the fusion one I actually put like a circuit board decal on there but you're not going to see it so I just no point in wasting time really so then I have already brought in somewhere a label there it is let's do base color rotate bring it around at scale Okay, so the basics of it, 
done. So that's really, really simple to do. I'm going to give that a quick little save. And then look what's out. Rendering and sort of see how it looks. So you can see the difference really. So I've not really done, oh, okay, literally, I haven't applied a plastic and then added our decal label to it. Compare that to like the fusion rendering, which is much, much different. Right, let's give that a clear. Background like that. Maybe that bit light, so you get some contrast to it. like that. So only thing I might do is let's just add a little bit of smudginess to it. So what I might do, let's take like add a fill layer, add a black mask, add a fill. I like to look for like a smudge and I like to use that one. And as you come here you just see it looks a little bit just sort of like it's been used kind of breaks up a little bit like that then let's maybe do that a little bit now this is where because we didn't spend a lot of time uv you might get a little bit of things messing up but because it's quite a small thing it shouldn't matter massively Let's add that mask again. And then something like a bat. So let's Set that up, let's just zoom in a little bit more. And try it in one more layer, let's see how it looks. Let's see how that looks. Probably a bit much. Okay. So we'll leave that at that. So it didn't take very long to texture. Hopefully you found that useful and interesting. Please, if you've got any questions, leave a comment down below or email me at design with Simon at outlook.com.